Hello, so this is a tutorial for paths as they will be appearing in Laidout version 0.093. So creating paths is pretty much standard. So you click down and drag out a point. Uh, if you hold down control while you're on a control point, you can move the vertex that it's connected to, uh, allowing for easy placement. If you press H, it'll go between the other control point and the vertex, so it's you can control various things. If you wheel over a, a vertex point, you can control uh, which, which, or the point type. So, like if it's a corner, then things go differently. So, if you do the H trick, then you can easily go between all the the, the points connected to that vertex pretty quickly. Uh, if you want to select points, you can hold down Shift and then uh, drag out. Uh, a rectangle and select points. If you hold down control and drag out a, a rectangle, then you can deselect points from your current selection. Another interesting feature of path editing here is this little direction indicator. So you'll see this green arrow, it's pointing one way. If you add, if you click down for new points now, it'll add points right after that position. If you click on it once, it becomes this red arrow that's pointing in the other direction. That means the path order is, is one way, but you're actually adding points in the other way, so it'll add points after that. Uh, if you press C, it'll close the path. Now, uh, what happens if you fill the path with F, and then let's say you click and drag that direction indicator, this little thing comes up. That lets you select to start editing on a new path object or a new subpath. So let's start adding a new subpath. So if you do that now, click down a few points and then close the path, there you have a hole. So quick, pretty easy to do. Another thing with paths that you frequently want to do is change the width of the stroke. So you do that with W. Uh, so if you press Shift W, it's, it moves the width of the path down. If you press W, it moves it up. Uh, if you don't like the how much the path is changing, you can hold down shift and control, or control only, and then press W. It'll change how much the, the increments that pressing normal W will change the width of the path. It's kind of confusing, but uh, I haven't quite implemented on-screen controls for changing the width of the path. Look for that in future versions. Anyway, that's a quick overview of paths. Thank you for watching.